of last year. In February, there have been over 300 requests for emergency assistance from families living in such precarious conditions. They feel they might not survive another day. Many families are also struggling with a surge in the cost of food, electricity, insulin, and other daily necessities. The food bank wants to expand its support, but donations have decreased by 20% compared to last year. You're right, Betty Ben. We will continue to do our part in order to help people who are having a hard time. This food wholesaler began making donations last year. Hirose Budai, who's in charge of sales, also solicited donations from about 1,200 business partners with Mosia Malaysia. However, the situation has changed dramatically in recent months. Last year, we collected about 80 kilograms of products. However, this year, it dropped to 50 kilograms. As inflation continues to rise, almost all food products have increased in price. Facing an uncertain future, many businesses can no longer afford to donate. Our company would like to continue donating, but if prices continue to rise, this will be difficult. Our food bank cannot operate without help from communities and companies, so I would like to ask society as a whole to help. Yonayama is not giving up. She is searching for new companies that can donate and urging local governments to offer further support so the food bank can continue to offer much needed help to families in need. Unfortunately, most of this week is going to be quite chilly, so I wouldn't suggest you put away your coat just yet. Some of these temperatures are the lowest for the season so far, and it is catching up a little bit surprise, but it's quite early if you think about it. And look at all these uh, sub zero temperatures that we've seen from the northern part of Japan back to uh, Tokyo, they so close to uh, minus 6.3. Much of these temperatures are the lowest for the season. And it's not over yet. We should still expect a little bit of cooler conditions. There's a cold surge coming in from the north. will trickle down slowly. It will get a little bit better to move into the latter part of the week. But the concern is there could be unstable weather again just lingering across the eastern side of Japan. So you should look out for that. So get your coats, get your rain boots ready, and make sure you are not caught off guard. Temperatures for Tokyo, 50 degrees, and right across from Tokyo through Ibaraki and all the way to the northern part. Things are going to get slightly chilly for you take a look at just around the 12 degrees for the day and then across the bay of bengal a lot happening here in terms of heavy rainfall is all brought in by six it's been circulating along those parts there let us quickly jump into the following video now and you'll see how people are just trying to get by in fact authorities have 